Hi, I'm Neil Anderson. I'm the founder of Freedom in Christ Ministries. Uh, let me quote a verse out of scripture. It says, but realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. I think that's a given. Whether we are truly in the end times and, and are facing the return of Christ, I, I don't know. But I do know that difficult times are coming for all of us. And I hear pretty clearly from God that it's time for us to keep, get our house in order. Uh, to clean up the inside and uh, I am just seeing people fall away one of the things that is a given about the second coming of Christ is that there will be a coming apostasy and uh, probably somewhat due to uh, the COVID crisis that we went through and other issues I'm just seeing people just kind of falling away and worst of all compromising who they are in the face of this whole woke you know extreme left movement that has engulfed the entire world and so what do we do during times like this? How do we face difficult days that are coming ahead? And I get, get firmly established in Christ. And so I've looked at encumbrances that are really keeping people from experiencing the fullness of God. And I'm looking at four different aspects from a worldview of overcoming liberalism, of legalism, of spiritism, and of elitism, and somehow or another come back to that Christ-centered orientation that we understand that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers and dominions. And, and that has always been true, but it's becoming more defined in our day. It's like God is separating uh, the sheep from the goats. And uh, Jesus said, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith? And Peter writes about the second coming of Christ. Knowing these things are going to come to pass, what manner of man ought you to be? So once we've thrown off those encumbrances, once we've uh, set ourselves free in Christ, it's like you just pulled away from the pier and you are no longer tied to it. But you need that direction in your life. And so the end of the book is really all about learning to pray by the Spirit, walk by the Spirit, live by faith. And finally, the last chapter is how do we have an intimate, personal relationship with God? Uh, I personally think, and I've been around this world, that uh, uh, the difficult times that are coming upon us is going to create all kinds of problems with depression and anxiety disorders and anger, and you're just seeing this rise. It's a global thing. You used to have problems, you know, divisionally and, and in certain countries. Everything now seems to be global, and the Internet's doing that for us. So this little book, Thriving Through the End Times, I, I wanted to call it initially Surviving but it's really more about thriving, of being the person God created you to be. Nobody can keep you from, from that happening but yourself. And so I, I pray that you will give some consideration for this, study questions, use it in a small group, just to think about what's going to happen in the days ahead and how in the midst of that can I be alive and free in Christ. God bless you.